Hi, my name is Elise Isakov, and welcome to Southerner Conversations. Today I'm here with Gwen Reed to talk about her science fair project that she and her partner are going to be advancing to the regional competition with. So, Gwen, can you give us a little bit of a rundown of your project? So, we're going to be running electric electricity through um, cultures of yeast in order to see if it will positively affect their growth rate. Okay, so what inspired that idea? So I actually read an article about it in mm -hmm. which the electricity really did positively affect the growth, like almost 40% more than normal yeast growth, but they didn't really find a reason for it. So mm -hmm. we thought that if we looked into this ourselves, maybe we could find a reason. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about your findings? Um, overall, we found in some cases it increased growth rate and in some cre cases it decreased growth rate, but we did find that when it's just paired with a carbon electrode, which is, that's how we got our electricity into the yeast itself. Mm -hmm. When it's just paired with that, the growth rate goes up almost twice as much. Okay, that's interesting. So, can you explain to us the process of the science fair, um, how you submit your findings, how you initially come up with a hypothesis? So, the process of the science fair, especially for us, since we were working in a lab, mm -hmm. we required a lot more approval from our science teacher, from the scientists that we were actually working with, mm -hmm. and then also we needed to present them a clear hypothesis and a general idea of how the um, experiment was going to go down. So, because of that, we sort of t it took us a little bit longer than other teams would, and so Overall, it was a pretty easy process, but you just needed to remember to get your form signed. Right, of course. So tell us a little bit about your experience in the actual lab. Where did you work? What lab? So my mom is actually a scientist, and we worked in her lab at Emory. And it was a really interesting experience. I, we got a lot of exposure to um, things that we wouldn't have normally gotten exposure to, such as like right. a centrifuge, which actually spins media or really okay. anything and yeah. then all the solid stuff combines mm -hmm. in the bottom. So it was just a lot of like materials that we had never seen before in our school science yeah. classroom. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. That's really awesome. Okay, so this is obviously your first year doing science fair. Yeah. How was it just first year wise? I think, I think it was really fun. I think mm -hmm. because I'm a person that's in interested in science and so it was a way to sort of get myself exposed to like actually doing a science project and having to do it all ourselves as opposed to like just a lab mm -hmm. in the classroom. Right, definitely. I don't think that we have the, the same resources that they might have. Yeah. Right, so would you recommend this to other students, maybe freshmen, who are considering doing this next year? I think for sure. If you're interested in science at all, it's a really great way to get exposure to different types of science as well as how to actually go about um, conducting a research project. Right, okay. Um, and just last question, do you think you're going to do this again next year? Um, definitely, I think so. Uh, my partner, Sam Pere, she and I work really well together on this project, and so hopefully me and her will be able to work together on something just as interesting as this next year. All right, that's awesome. Okay, thank you so much for being here. Um, and thank you so much for watching Southerner Conversations. For any other videos like this or about different topics, you can go to southerneronline.com, scroll down to the video section, or type in Southerner Conversations in the search bar. Thank you so much.